A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Friday, July 28th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. A 28-year-old Kingston man is the latest victim of gun violence in the city of Kingston. Police say Dominic Green was found shot to death on Prospect Street near Greenkill Avenue at about 9.20 last night. Kingston police were assisted at the scene by the city fire department, mobile life support services, town of Ulster police, Ulster sheriff's office and DA's office, as well as the state police. Anyone with information is asked to call Kingston Police Detective Division at 845-331-8404. The USDA has announced a $623,000 grant to support the design and construction of the Center for Discovery's new campus in Rock Hill. Center CEO Patrick Dollard is excited about the new facility. The project itself is a combination of, uh, it's the Children's Specialty Hospital, which is a portion of it, two schools, a, a school-age program being developed, a, a K-2 through school is going to be developed there, and a rural health clinic will be developed there initially. Earlier, U.S. Senator Charles Schumer secured a $35 million federal loan to jumpstart the project that the Senate Majority Leader called a beacon of hope for our most vulnerable people with complex disabilities. State Senator James Scoofus, chairman of the Senate Investigations Committee, is anti-IDA's Orange County Industrial Development Agency CEO Bill Fiorvanti charged yesterday. His remarks come after Scoofus' committee released a report saying that the new Orange County IDA board has done little to improve the financial incentives policy of the former board, which was ousted. Fiervanti says Scoofus wants to demonize the IDA for his own political gain. He's looking for salacious headlines, and he uses disinformation. He mixes fact with fiction in order to, to try and malign us, but... Uh, Things like this report that came out from his investigative committee, I I think, are validating, frankly, for us. Uh, If you look at the facts that are in that report, it shows that we've been doing everything right. Everything that he attacked and the reason he opened this investigation, the facts show that we're doing everything right, as are our fellow IDAs around the state. Scoofer says the Orange County IDA granted financial incentives to Goshen-based Milmar, despite the company sending conflicting messages about its need for that economic boost. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. The USDA has announced a $623,000 grant to support the design and construction of the Center for Discovery's new campus in Rock Hill. Center CEO Patrick Dollard is excited about the new facility. The project itself is a combination of, uh, it's the Children's Specialty Hospital, which is a portion of it, two schools, a, a school-age program being developed, a, a K-2 through school is going to be developed there, and a rural health clinic will be developed there initially. Earlier, U.S. Senator Charles Schumer secured a $35 million federal loan to jumpstart the project that the Senate Majority Leader called a beacon of hope for our most vulnerable people with complex disabilities. Governor Kathy Hochul is named Blake Washington, a resident of the Capital Region, as the state's new budget director. Washington began his career as a probation officer with the Sullivan County Probation Department and earned both bachelor's and master's degrees from U. Albany. Washington is currently secretary to the State Assembly Ways and Means Committee, where he advises the Speaker and Assembly members on all budget and fiscal matters. Prior to serving with the Ways and Means Committee since 2002, he served as Director of Budget Studies Deputy Director of Budget Studies, and as a legislative budget analyst. 
I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.